Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. We're going to be getting straight back into it today and picking up right where we left off with the last video. So if you haven't seen the last video in this room assistant tutorial, then there'll be a link in the top right, so go and check that out. In that video, we went through the installation process of getting room assistant set up on a Raspberry Pi Zero W. And if you've come from that video to this one, then welcome back. Let's get into it. We're back on our demo dashboard then. And in today's video, we're going to be going through the setup and installation of the MQTT broker. If you're interested in a bit more information about MQTT, I recently created a video where I gave a very brief beginner's look into what MQTT is, and there'll be a link for that in the top right. For this demo version of my home assistant, I'm running it on a Raspberry Pi 4 8 gigabyte model, and we're gonna be installing the Mosquito MQT broker on the Pi, and the Pi is gonna act then as our broker, and our Pi Zeros are gonna send messages to this Pi in order for us to be able to do the room detection. And if none of that made sense, then don't worry, we're gonna install it now and hopefully it'll become a bit clearer when we actually get the thing up and running. Let's go ahead and get this broker installed then. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is click on the supervisor tab in the menu bar here. From here, we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna choose add on store. And then we wanna look for mosquito broker. It should be on the top around about here. On yours, if it's not there, there is a handy little search bar here. So you can just type, start typing mosquito and it should appear there. And the one we want is the mosquito broker. From here then, we're gonna just wanna click on install and just give that a minute to do its thing. While you're waiting, if you wanna hit that subscribe button, if you're not subscribed, it'll make the installation go quicker. It doesn't actually make it quicker, but you're using a bit of time to subscribe, which kind of uses your time up, which makes it quicker. Yeah. Once that's installed, we're gonna to need to make a couple of tweaks to the configuration. So the first thing that I would recommend you do is if you turn on this watchdog here, now what this is gonna do is if the MQT broker crashes, it should automatically try and pick itself back up and just restart. Having it automatically restart and pick itself up is gonna be handy if you become reliant on specific automations that run on the room detection. So we want the watchdog on, then there is an option for auto update, but again, this is personal choice. I personally like to leave the auto update off and then I have to manually go in and as a task, I have to manually force the update. And I like to do this because I always like to read the change log and also to do a bit of research on whether that update breaks anything. Again, that's personal choice. So those are the options we're gonna change there. Up at the top then, we've got a tab for documentation. So if you want any more info, information about the broker you can pop into this tab here but we're going to pop into the configuration there's a few different configuration options you can set from within the broker here i'm going to be keeping it quite simple just for this video and i may return to this at a future point in the series maybe to just go through some more advanced features but for now we're going to stay basic there's going to be one small change that i make and that's i'm going to add an additional user now you can use your Home Assistant local users to access the broker, but I'm gonna create a user specifically for the Pies to use. So let's go ahead and add another user in here. We're gonna to need to add in this username here and password, give it a username. I'm gonna just call the user MQTT and I'll leave the password as password. Uh, let's give it a one, two, three, because you know, that's super secure. So add in a username and password there. And then the all important save button, make sure you press that and we should be good to go. And that's actually all the config that we're gonna change for the broker. We're now just gonna reboot Home Assistant and make sure that our config's all correct. To do that, again, we go to configuration, server controls, check configuration, and that's green config is valid, so let's give that a reboot, and okay. I don't think you have to do that reboot. I always like to do a reboot after installing a big add-on just so that I've got a clean boot. My Home Assistant's finished rebooting now, so let's jump into the supervisor again. And we're gonna go into our MQTT broker, so the Mosquito broker here. And we can see it's not currently running. Usually there's a little green icon on the top right here if that is running. So we're just gonna go ahead and click Start. And we can see that that's now running, so we've got an option to stop and restart. If we head over to our log, we can see that Home Assistant is running the Mosquito broker. If you see this warning here, um, just don't worry about this for now. I'll go into more detail about the warnings and some of the other configuration at a later point in one of the upcoming videos. That should be everything we need to do with the broker now. So that's running and it's happy. We're now gonna to need to go into a configuration and we're gonna to need to add in another integration that's gonna allow us to use MQTT. So let's press on integrations. And we can see here that Home Assistant has automatically discovered the MQTT add-on because we've got the browser set up and running. 
If your Home Assistant hasn't automatically discovered your MQTT, then don't worry. If you just press on the little blue add-on in the bottom right there, then you can just do a search for MQTT and it will add it in. That's such a challenge, constantly saying MQTT. Right, so we're going to press on configure here. And we're just going to enable auto discovery and click submit. And that should be that. Success, click finish. And that's the MQTT broker integration and the broker add-on both set up and installed. There is an option on the broker integration here where you can go in and you can publish packets and you can listen to various MQTT topics. We're not going to go into detail about that in this video, but I may again come back to this at a later point. If you would like some more information on how MQTT works, just as a very basic level, then check the description for the link to the MQTT video that I created. We're going to end this one here then guys. Just as a recap, in this video we've gone through and we've set up a very basic MQTT broker and in the next video we're going to be making use of this broker by getting the Pi that we configured in the last video to talk to it. And that communication between the Pi and the broker is going to be how we actually get Room Assistant to tell our Home Assistant which room we're in based on our Bluetooth. So make sure you check out that part three. That's going to be where the magic happens and in that video you're going to start seeing how this kind of all like glues together. When I release these videos they should be back to back so part three should actually already be there now and there should be a nice playlist where you can just click on the playlist and just watch them one after the other. If I did that, if I didn't then I'm sorry. Let me know in the comments what you've thought of this simple broker setup. If you're unsure on any of the terminology or maybe just want to know a bit more about MQTT then check out my video it will be linked in the description. In that video I just take a basic look and just try and simplify the whole MQTT process. If you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit that like button. If you press the subscribe button and ding dong the little notification bell, you'll also be alerted to whenever I bring out any future content. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.